And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here to Martinsville Speedway as we're getting set for our third race of the season for season one of the DRL Red Bull GT Series. As we're going to show you our grid on the pole position is Justin Chris. Alongside of him is Bradley Ream in the 21. And then in row number two is the 22 of Noah Swell and the 60 of Kyler Anderson. So that is the opening two rows. Here is the rest of the starting grid. Over here to your left, all the way down to the 32nd, Cody Smart's gonna start last here today. And here is a look at your point standings coming into this race. Of course, I will have the points out on the Discord. The link will be in the description as well. <clears throat> Chaz Farmer comes into this race as your points leader, as I need to sc scoot you back up here. There we go. Uh, he has a six-point cushion over a tie for second between uh, Jordan Want and Justin Chris. Cody Smart is tied for fourth with Michael Brown as they're eight points back. Jared Underhill is six in the point standings after a good run last week at Kentucky. Kyler Anderson, seventh. Aaron, uh, or hold on, let me make sure I have the, whoops, that's not the right name. I'll uh, discuss the schedule in just a second. Andrew Williams, excuse me, is eighth in the points, lost six spots last week. Dean Burke came in as the points leader last week. He dropped all the way to ninth in the standings, and Henry Morgan will complete your top tens. We're going to get these cars rolling out behind the pace car. Number of drivers who are... Struggling in the point standings after the first two races. Need a turnaround ASAP. <clears throat> Get ready to go 50 laps of racing at Martinsville. And this is a brand new Martinsville, an updated Martinsville that I had to go through because the Papyrus Martinsville, for whatever reason, bless you, has, was... For whatever reason, the AI keeps getting stuck in the apron and get lapped and all that, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, okay, I'm going to probably just get a new Martinsville. And that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to go racing for 50 laps here today. Looking forward to see what these drivers can do on a short track here in Virginia. As we're getting ready to go green, the third race of the DRL Red Bull GT Series is underway. Let's go racing drivers. <clears throat> we're gonna see some banging and banging is what we're gonna see here today. Justin Chris leads the first lap. As I said, came in this race third in the points. He's trying to run down Chad's former right there for the points lead. Would you keep an eye on my number three, please? And I was using that to... Okay, never mind. Okay, there's a white out in front. Justin Chris leads. There's Noah Swell. 31st in the point standings. 31st in the point standings. Noah has not had a good start to the season, but it is still early. One of those drivers just down there at the bottom of the points table really needs a good run today. And a lips. There's the points leader, Chaz Farmer. Let's check the back of the field. There's Logan Williams. Where's Tequila? Logan. Somewhere somewhere? To pick up the guys from church. Oh. Jesus. Sorry about that. My roommate's being... <clears throat> I was getting ready to say Logan Williams, who picked up... Who gained 12 spots last week after... A good run at Kentucky. And there's Dean Bird, who lost the points lead last week. There's Cody McGorvick. That's one of the Mustangs. That's Daniel Voles right there. And a couple of... In front of him is Cody Smart, who didn't have a good qualifying. <clears throat> Michael Brown. Zachary Fitzwater passing Nathan Orman. 
Ormy's a former winner here at Martinsville in the PCS array. Colin Cropley passing, who is that he just passed? That's Henry Morgan. Seeing a lot of drivers running well in points back here at the rear of the field. Quentin Moore's back here. There's Josh Perkins in the three. Chaz, as looks like Justin Chris is still leading this race. There he is. Seeing a lot of drivers running well in points near the rear of the field. A couple of drivers who really need some good runs like Jesse Art. Currently running in mid-pack, so... <clears throat> yeah. Want to talk about the schedule uh, for just a second. Um, I accidentally deleted Bristol Dirt because what I was trying to do is I was cleaning up some space and getting some new tracks uh, prepared for the for the upcoming PCS race season. I accidentally deleted Bristol Dirt. So instead, I replaced that track with a road course I've raced before in the NR community, and that would be the Sebring International Raceway, the home of the Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring of IMSA. So want to... Apologize for that little mistake. Oh, I still have, I kept Talladega. I got a better Talladega, so. I got the BR Talladega, so that will be interesting. Cody McGorvick and Colin Cropley, a couple of other drivers who really need good runs, because there's some... They're so far down near the bottom of the points table. Of course, Noah Swell needs a good run today because he has had a he has had no top fives, no top tens. His average starts 14th. His average finish 26.5. So this is a well needed run. Bradley Reams dropped back to fourth, but he comes in his race 23rd in the points. Lost one spot last week at Kentucky. This is a much better showing. Maddie Crenshaw on the 64, 15th in the points. Sean Art is six. Sean moved up 18 spots to 13th in the point standings. Tori Gossett, seventh. Another driver needs a good run. Kyler Anderson, eighth. Ninth is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I, uh, ninth is Andrew Williams. Sorry, I went brain dead there. I was trying to clear my throat and Deb Bird complete the top 10. Justin Chris has had two top 10s this season in the first two races. <clears throat> one at Daytona and one at one last week at Kentucky. take a drink of my water before I get <clears throat> I need to get some ice for it later I forgot to do that before I started recording that's all right I'll just dump it out the water so anyway I'll dump the water out later or I'll do it after this race so not gonna do it right now There's Noah Swell, Chaz Farmer. Chaz Farmer all over the back of the Noah Swell machine, and he's going to look at the inside. That's a battle for second. Justin Chris currently leading flag to flag so far in this race. Chaz Farmer, the points leader, has now passed Noah Swell, so Swell goes down the third. Move the points leader, Chaz Farmer, up to second. Got a battle here between, um, <clears throat> between Andrew Williams and Kyler Anderson. Williams will take the eighth spot away from Kyler Anderson. There's Deb Bird. Matt Smith right behind Deb Bird. Ty Benjamin 12, 13th 
uh, Connor Jacklin as Jordan Watt 14th, 15th is Mark Underhill. Apologize if my NR is starting to act like drunk. Ah, oh, no, Logan Williams has blown up. Ah, uh, that's a shame for the president of DRL. Had a good run last week at at uh, Kentucky and Logan Williams out of the race. That's a shame. That's such a shame. Lead change or change for a uh, second as Noah Swell just passed uh, Justin Chris. Chaz Farmer just took the lead from him while <clears throat> we were watching Logan Williams car go to pit road. He has taken his car back behind the wall. A camshaft has blown. That's a shame for uh, <clears throat> for uh, Logan Williams, the president of DRL. Came as race 17th in the points. He's going to definitely take a hit in the point standings leaving today. Leaves us with 31 cars in the race as we're at the halfway point of today's race. Dean Bird continuing to struggle. He's a driver came in this race ninth in the points. He's going to definitely take a hit. Cody Smart not doing his hopes any favor. Came in this race fourth in the points. There's Cody McGorvick as Quentin Moore's there in 28. Dean Wills 27th. Another dismal run for him. Same with Colin Cropley. There's Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan last week won at Kentucky. This week he's 25th. Not the run he would have liked. Fitzwater, not the run he would have liked either. Same with Formy. Jesse Art picked up four spots last week at Kentucky. Not going to have a good run today. Same with Josh Perkins. We're probably in for a point shakeup, is what it looks like heading into next week's race. And, what, and where we go next week, another short track. We're going to Indianapolis Raceway Park, which is across, which is, uh, which is uh, just south of the big, the big track of Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We have 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time green flag. That will be a fun race. Hope you will join us for that. As that'll be another 50 lapper. And I may end up changing M&Ms with Coca-Cola, which is which is going to be fine, but Either way, hopefully you guys understand the changes I'm doing to the schedule for reasons that I'll give later on. There's Laney Fredrickson in 17th, right behind Mark Underhill. Will Parrish in the 2, Ty Benjamin in the 78. By the way, we have not had a caution so far here today, which is... Which is kind of rare for Martinsville because every time we come to Martinsville, drivers have a tendency to know when you come to Martinsville, it's beating and banging and we get a lot of yellows. Well, so far, we've not had a lot of yellows. Good run for Andrew Williams. Currently eighth in the points. Hate to see uh, his, his brother. I think they're brothers. I could be wrong. I haven't asked uh, Logan if... Andrews' brother. If that's the case, then it's been a while since we've had brothers in this deal. Of course, we have a brother and a sister with uh, Jesse and Sean Art. But Chad's Farmer leads as we're down to 15 laps of racing to go here at the Martinsville Speedway. You know, I love Martinsville because I love, because uh, 
interesting to note here, uh, before today's race, the only time we've been to Martinsville on this channel was back in 2016 for the Coca-Cola Truck Series. That was actually the last time this year, last time we had a race on this channel at Martinsville. Well, other than the, um, other than me showing the last few laps of the, uh, Monster Energy Series from this year that you saw on the channel. Other than that, that's kind of it. This is going to really help Noah swell in the points. He only has three points. Also, I forgot to tell you about the point system. The most points you could gain or lose in one race is 32. And Chaz Farmer, who came in this race as the points leader, and the guy who's trying to run him down for the points lead, that is not the driver list, Boils, you derping hyena. Uh, who was second in point? Oh, Jordan Watt. Make sure I know. Oh, 34. Yeah. Let's see. Where is the 34 running? I'm trying to find the 34. He's 13th. He's second in points. That's Jordan Watt. He was only six points back of uh, Chaz Farmer. So it looks like as things stand, we're inside of 10 to go. As things stand, Chaz Farmer will keep the points lead heading into next week at IRP. Oh, Chaz Farmer got the wall. I wonder if his car's starting to, his car getting tight. Because he carried a little too much speed going through three and four and just popped the outside wall. Of course, aerodynamics don't mean much here at Martinsville. All it means is just good starting track position. Right now, only 31 of our 32 cars in the race and on the lead lap. Logan Williams, the only driver out of the race due to an engine failure. Sean having a good run in 12th. So we're coming up to five laps of racing to go here at Martinsville. A quick reminder for those of you that um, that don't know, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I highly recommend you do so. That way you can keep up to date with all the DRL stuff and also the stuff for the PCS Ray. Um, if you guys want to join the DRL slash the NRLA uh, Discord, the link will be down in the description down below as we have three laps of racing to go. Uh, they are run by good members. Uh, uh, Logan Williams is the uh, president of DRL, and he runs some very good NR series over there. Of course, um, the NRLA is run by Stephen Cologne which hopefully we'll have him for season two of this series. And there you go. So make sure you uh, join that Discord. You can also join my Discord. The link will, already, will also be in the description as well. And that will be it. Chaz Farmer is gonna take the white flag. He will get to keep the points lead after today's race. Here he comes down the back straightaway. Ever since he took the lead from Justin Chris, he never gave it up. And coming off turn four, Chaz Farmer is going to win his first race of the season and make it three for three in different winners as he wins at Martinsville. And Chaz Farmer was the points leader coming in this race. He will keep the points lead 
heading into next week's race. So great job for Chaz Farmer as he just dominated that race and it was no contest. Standings are now official. Chaz Farmer the win. How about Justin Chris? Start on the pole. He did lose a couple of spots. Try to come back, but a nice second place run for him. Came in this race third in the points. He will definitely stay in the top 10 in the points leaving today. Of course, he's going to lose a little bit of ground to Chaz Foster, or, or Chaz Farmer, sorry, in that regard. Good run for Bradley Ream, a driver who really needs some, need a good run. Came into this race, Bradley Ream, 23rd in the points, so he'll definitely move up into the top 20 in points. Noah Swell, talk about a driver who desperately needed to get a run after the first two races of the season didn't go very kind for him. A fourth place finish, that's definitely what the doctor ordered. Good run for Matty Crenshaw in fifth. Andrew Williams gets his first top, his second top 10 as he came home in 6th. Kyler Anderson, 7th. Nice run for Tory Goss in 8th. Dean Bird, or Deb Bird, sorry, ninth, And Matt Smith completed the top 10. As you look on down through the remainder of the finishing results, a lot of names running well in points, like Henry Morgan, 10th in points. He's going to take a hit. Um, let's see, Jordan Watt came, finished 12th. He was 2nd in points coming into this race, so... Not the run he would have liked. Jared Underhill didn't talk much about him. 23rd, he was 6th in points. So, a lot of drivers running well in points. Did not need a bad finish today. And it's going to shake up the points dramatically heading into next week's race. Of course, 31 drivers finished the race on the lead lap. Nobody finished a lap down or more, and only one driver sadly finished out of the race. That was Logan Williams, who had a camshaft failure, which is a big disappointment for the DRL president. But that's going to do it here at Martinsville. Boy, talk about we're going to be in somewhat of a point shakeup. But we know one thing is for certain, Chaz Farmer will keep the points lead heading into next week at IRP, which we hope you will look forward to that at the Indianapolis Raceway Park as we're going to go under the lights again. It's going to be cool to see how that race will go at IRP. But something will tell me we're going to have a lot of wrecks there, if you know what I mean. If hope you guys enjoyed today's race from Martinsville. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to become part of the PCS Ray Crew today. Also, be sure to member, as I said earlier in this video, to uh, join the DRL slash the NRLA server, as well as my Discord, the PCS rate. All links will down, be down in the description. We've shown you your full finisher results. You will see your point standings in the Discord and also in the pre-race show next week at IRP. Until then, I've been Dean Neville signing off, and you have been watching a production of the DRL Red Bull GT Series on the PCS Ray Sporting Game Channel, the best center racing around the world since 2017. So long from Martinsville, as I will go get a hot dog from the concession stand.